first at the North Carolina State House, legislation to loosen gun permit rules is now heading to Governor Roy Cooper's desk. We've told you before this bill would take out local law enforcement's role in the background check for a permit, leaving it solely to the feds. Well, today the Mecklenburg Sheriff says he thinks this bill is a bad idea. He talked about it with our Jane Monreal, who's joining us live from Uptown right now. So Jane, what did the sheriff have to say? Well, Vanessa, he thinks this is a bad idea, just like you said. Uh, Sheriff Gary McFadden telling me first, let's get this straight. He used to work for the NRA and he is not against Second Amendment rights. But this bill, again, a bad idea. Law enforcement, Sheriff Gary McFadden is not anti Second Amendment. I support the Second Amendment. What the sheriff doesn't support is Senate Bill 41, which repeals the permit requirements for both the church carry and pistol purchases. I'm hoping that they do not take away the powers of a duly elected sheriff. This is a bad bill. Sheriff McFadden explaining the case in point when they denied a man a permit following a background check last year. That man appealed, but didn't show up to court. A couple of months ago, we got a call from Washington State this gentleman went back to his home, obtained a gun, four hours later walked into a parking lot and killed an innocent man. All this is for sheriffs is we are the best judgment or judge to understand who should have a weapon in our communities or who should be allowed to have the weapon. McFadden says if these local permits are repealed, the background checks for gun buyers wouldn't be thorough enough. Once that trigger is pulled and innocent lives are take, taken, they're going to blame someone. And they often blame the sheriff. We will take that responsibility. But who talks to the families and loved ones if they take this ability away from us? It is a bad bill. The president of Grassroots North Carolina, Paul Vallone, said in a statement following yesterday's passing of the bill, uh, passing the state Senate, that he said his group is confident that the Republicans would override uh, Governor Roy Cooper's veto if necessary. The governor has 10 days to either sign or veto the bill once it reaches his desk.